of week three, the, the third full week that we've got with the boys. How's it going so far? I've been really pleased uh, with the first couple of weeks. Um, stepped up the kilometres last week. Specific to football, but we did... Uh, some lads got well over 50k last week, so I'm pleased with that. Um, a lot of hard running within football work. And it's important you do that now to build up that base. Because uh, it's unforgiving when that season starts. You've got to make sure you're ready for it. It's a no-brainer these days. The lads know what they have to do when they're away, but they have come back looking sharp. Yeah, the standards have gone up uh, to my eye. Um, passing drills, the speed of it, the movement. So I'm really pleased with that because uh, I want it to uh, obviously fall into the way we want to play. So really pleased with the standards, really pleased with the lads' uh, efforts because they are committing to them. Um, and the staff, because, you know, they're going above and beyond, I suppose, their duty to make sure the lads are, are supported to be ready for the sessions. And that includes groundwork, you know, the pitch is in magnificent condition and uh, everybody else that uh, obviously I can immediately control with what we do as a, as a footballing unit. So I've been really pleased with everybody's efforts. Uh, the lads we've spoken to, they've all mentioned that there's been a heck of a lot of ball work. Is that something you've developed over the years, knowing that you mentioned it, 50Ks with the ball, that's as good as 50Ks without? Yeah, I mean, you can get stats of stats, but like you can see who's working hard and you can see when you've took them to that line um, and you've got to try and get in the, what I would call the red zones in terms of uh, fitness and you've got to try and get there avoiding injury so it's all like factored in and you're going to get some little uh, pulls here and there um, but just working off the simple ethos of if everybody works really really hard and gives everything you know if one does drop off because the group's going so well and at it uh, somebody else can always fill in when the season starts and, and that's my sort of uh, ethos really with the opportunity we have here at Carlisle so we've got to make sure that uh, we work towards them traits. That phase has been important I suppose it's equally important the next phase where we start introducing games and pitch time. Yeah thank every uh, team playing a lot of local friendlies um, which is good for them as, as it is for us um, so we thank everybody for uh, housing us uh, now before we've gone there um, hopefully they feel the same after we've left there but uh, yeah, it's important the players get used to putting them shin pads on. We had a great practice game out here on uh, Saturday morning. Uh, the lads got 70 minutes in the legs there on, on the back end of a tough week. Um, decided to do that so we can control it a little bit more. But we did get a ref in to referee it as well, so that was good for the lads. Uh, shared a bit of information about uh, possible uh, new rules, etc. Because there's a couple coming in. But uh, yeah, it was good. Penrith, will that be a chance for everybody to get pitch time or will you start to already give some more than others and, and rotate it that way? Well, no, it's important everybody starts to play and that's why we're playing two games on the Saturday. You know, a lot of... Uh, in the past, I've been part of a lot of uh, pre-seasons where some players end up playing four games and others play 85 minutes added over four games, five games, six games worth. And it's important each player gets to a point of at least completing 90 minutes and try to do it several times because you try to get ready for what is the season starting in about a month's time. I suppose that answers the question that the fans have been asking. Two games kicking off on the same day on Saturday. Will it be a split with the squad? Yeah, and uh, at this point you're asking me, I don't know what that will be. Um, but uh, yeah, I think Gav wants me to go to Workington, so I'm quite happy to do that. And uh, he'll do heaven. And... Um, yeah, we'll we'll see which staff members who wants to go with whom, um, but that'll be interesting. Um, but yeah, I'm really looking forward to that. But most importantly, is the players getting that time on the pitch against some good opponents.